First, though, at home, new details about a cyber attack at the White House. Was Moscow behind the breach that was able to access the president's private schedule? Good morning, everybody. I'm Bill Hemmer, and welcome here to America's Newsroom. As we ask that question, look for an answer. Great How are question. you? Morning, Good morning, Bill. Good morning, everybody. I'm Martha McCallum. So the Russians apparently hacked, according to some, the White House computer system last October after a cyber attack on the State Department. So reports say that the information that they stole was unclassified, but it was sensitive. Months later, the director of national intelligence issued this warning. Listen. Russia and China continue to develop very sophisticated cyber programs. And while I can't go into detail here, the Russian cyber threat is more severe than we had previously assessed. So now a month and a half, Peter Ducey's live in Washington on this. What did the hackers access, Peter? Parts of the president's schedule that nobody is supposed to see because his movements can create security concerns or tip off top secret diplomatic activity. That detail coming to us from a CNN report that White House officials are not denying. We don't confirm cyber intrusions. We've spoken to the fact that uh, there was uh, an, an event uh, last year. We have classified systems that are secure and we take regular precautions to secure uh, our unclassified networks as well. We don't talk about uh, where cyber intrusions originate from because we're constantly taking actions to prevent them. On Capitol Hill, though, less dancing around the issue with lawmakers instead using this news as a warning. Senator Susan Collins now declaring that these reports are troubling and further expose that our nation's defenses against cyber attacks are dangerously inadequate. A spokesman for the National Security Council disagrees with the inadequate part, though, saying that as soon as officials realized something was wrong, they moved right away to mitigate the bad activity. Well, I Bill. bet they did. Do we know when the cyber attacks began, Peter? Right around the time that the U.S. announced new sanctions against the Putin regime following their invasion of Crimea. That's what a well-placed cyber intel source is telling us, pointing to an October 2014 effort known as Operation Pawn Storm, where hackers set up fake websites and fake email addresses to go fishing for sensitive information, basically hoping to trick people on the White House network into forking over info that could help them get into that system. But this did not end all last year, because remember, the State Department suffered a big hack attack just last month, and officials tell us they think that intrusion has Russian fingerprints all over it as well. It's a new no. battlefront electronically. Thank you, Peter Ducey, leading our coverage there in Washington.